So, uh, tell me, we had a little technical difficulty, but we fight get it. Like crack it. To make it happen tonight. Y'all know what time it is. Real, real big, special tonight. Y'all know how we rock, man. Y'all get on in here, hit that share button. Before we get a hundred in here, we're going to kick this show off in tonight. Y'all don't want to miss it. Ha! You don't want to miss it tonight. You understand me? Okay, we getting them in here. We getting them in here. Oh, yeah, they ready. We definitely appreciate y'all. You know what I'm saying? Uh, coming in, you know. Going to blow y'all mind tonight, but we're going to go ahead and... um Take go. Bring clarity to this to this this topic. You know what I mean? Right. We're gonna bring clarity to this topic. You know, big situation, big situation tonight because you know this is something that a lot of hidden agendas. A lot of things people don't understand. Chrissy, you know. what's happening? What's up with what you, guy? <laughs> what you yeah. What's going on with you though? You good? James, what's happening? Y'all hit that share button. When we hit 100 people, we finna go in. This shit gonna blow y'all Hit that share button because we closing the gap right now. As usual. You know what I'm saying? Let's spend our family every, th- every okay, Wednesday Jersey. night. Okay, D. Okay. Checking in for New Jersey. East Coast in it, bitch. The East. No, y'all know what's going on for the East now. Yeah. New Jersey. East Coast in it, bitch. You know what I'm saying? Y'all hit that share button. Let go, let See, go, let Vegas. go. Vegas. Y'all know. You know we can gamble sometime. Oh, Vegas off here. Good evening. Okay. That's hey, much Teresa, love. Teresa Bell. She That's a long fight for him. They say it's a long fight from, from Florida to Vegas. Yeah, it, it worth it, bro. <laughs> it worth it. It's worth it. It was a long time. What's happening? Want to tell you what's happening. Y'all stay tuned. These skits coming out real, real soon. More skits. It's coming. One love. One love, Shay. What's up, Shay? Shay say we woke. Let's get him in. Yes. Y'all hit that share button. We're finna take off. Callie, what's happening? Uh, we're finna take off, man. Y'all already know what time it is. You get what I'm saying? Y'all already know what time it is, man. Callie off in the building. You know what I'm saying? Two girls a while back. Just want to say, what's happening? What's going on? What they do? Yeah, I'm back. Last week I had to stay out take care, but I'm back at it, you know. We're a little late because I'm New Jersey. Of me. <laughs> yes, uh, Florida baby. Florida baby. Florida baby. Hey, you know what? You tell you from Florida when you say Florida baby. You feel me? Yeah. A lot of people move to Florida, but a real Florida person say Florida baby. We won't say back. We say bite. I'm telling you. I have to be up there in Alabama. Be like, what you said? We're going to run that shit. Bite. <laughs> <laughs> bite, back, bite. Like a bicycle. Yeah. West Orlando in there, motherfucker. Old town. Old town. Old town. Y'all Man. know what it is, Orlando. Okay, we had a hundred. We're gonna go ahead and kick this thing out. Make sure y'all hit that share button and let go. Y'all already know. You're now tuned into the Papa Duck Podcast with Papa Duck and co-host. Please believe it's Steve. Let's go. Now, let's get it in. Columbia, South Carolina, checking in that bit. Hey, listen, man, we finna go all the way in, and now you already know what time it is. It's all I see, I see these birds in the building. These birds flowed in the building. Okay. Lake County, man. Y'all know what it is. My hometown, man. Straight up, we finna put a lot of um. See, we finna we finna we finna put a lot of um, a lot of flames on this topic tonight. You know what I'm saying? This shit, man. Y'all ain't gonna wanna miss this, man. Trust me when I tell you, man. Let's get these sponsors out the way. Y'all already know what it is, man. When they hunted bad pain, but well, we done got quite pain. a few people. Quite a few people. We, we got them in the right position doing what they're doing. Make sure, man, if you in an accident, anybody you know, man, it don't matter where you at in the world. But remember, boy, when they hunted bad pain, you already know what it is. So make sure y'all tune into that. One eight hundred. We gonna run it. One eight hundred bad pain. Yeah, I just read what I'ma do. I'm in all this pain. All this pain up in my pocket, stupid. I gotta make it rain. Oh, 
800 bad pain. That's 1 800 bad pain. Yo, 1 800 bad pain. Don't give a damn. Where you at? Where what? you at in the world? 1 800 bad pain. Trust me, we don't got quite a few people on in now. And like I say, man, these folk really, I work with people that work with people. This ain't just no, nah, you know, these people teach you how this goes. Just all that's that's all I'm about learning. You get what I'm saying? Because ignorance is the most expensive thing in the world. One eight hundred bad pain. If you was just in an accident or you know somebody can be whoever it is, one eight hundred bad pain, man. Go ahead and sign up and get right. Trust me when I tell you. Our next sponsor is Real Credit Deal. Boy, we don't change Ooh. lives. <laughs> we don't change lives, man. Real Credit Deal. When I got people in the they the car that they wanted, um, house, apartment. Um, like I say, you need some of these jobs, you even need credit. You know what I'm saying? So, True. you know, credit ain't no joke. Um, shouts out to everybody that signed up for that special that we had. Man, trust me, man. Listen, and anybody out there that joined the program that we've helped, took you from a 500, a low 500, and got you creeping on up to that 700, getting you right, right. If you want to do a live testimony with me, all you got to do is call that number, set it up, and I get you on here, and you can share your experiences with the rest of the family so everybody know it's all organic. We don't help people's mama, cousins, uh, daddies, Kids. aunties. Man, listen, man, we don't change people's lives because a lot of this stuff people ain't know nothing about. So hit that number. The number's on the bottom right here, Real Credit Deal, 754-755-9774. Go ahead and start, man. Small investment. That's all it is, a small Small investment. That's it. You know what I'm saying? And those are the sponsors, man. Make sure y'all 1 800 bad pain. A real credit deal, man. Y'all already know what we're doing this chunk. Now, listen. It does. Before you kick it off, man, I know this has been an emotional week for you. A lot of people hit, hit inbox and DM. and Because Mother's Day was Monday, Sunday, and, and you dropped a video that went, went pretty viral. You yeah. know, this it just it just shout out to mothers, man, because this, this special yeah. week for them, man. Before we, yeah. before we go into what we do, all the, all the mothers, man. All the mothers. That's, that's cool, man. And, and the thing about it is, man, I like to say I love y'all. I gave a shout out to all the mothers, the um, stepmothers, the aunties, the TTs, the grandmas, um, uncles, close friends. You know what I'm saying? And I gave a shout out to the real um, foster parents because they're awesome, real ones out there, but. Not yes. the one that just want that paycheck. We're talking about the real. Right. So, shouts out to y'all, man. Y'all will help the world go round. And like I say, man, double salute, man. Happy Mother's Day. You know, even though I know Mother's Day is every day. Right. You know, but happy Mother's Day. And we love y'all for that. Like, that's big yeah. for the kids. You know what I'm saying? Topic for the night. <laughs> Gonna blow y'all mind. Blue. Big pimping. We talking about how these labels use these artists. I, too, a lot of y'all know me that as an artist. Came in the game. A lot of people ask me why do I why did I switch it up? You know why I'm doing different stuff. It's a lot of different reasons, man. As I got higher up, um, let me give y'all a little background with me. I done work with, I got songs with uh, Boosie, uh, Rick Ross, Junk Dro, Trina, Scarface, OJ the Juice, um, Gucci Mane. Who else I done work with? Um, Vibes Cartel, Man uh, Fresh, Junior Reed. Yeah, me and Manny Fresh, we dropped two. I saw, now, this ain't no send a beat over. No, nah, I was in the studio. We did it in T.I. studio up there in the A. Shots out the tip. Um, I sat there with Manny Fresh. We knocked out. Um, he built two beats right there in front of me. And um, I jumped on one. He on the hook. It's called Money All Around. You can go on YouTube, check it out, whatever. Um, damn, I don't young work with job. a lot of people. Yeah, Young Jock. That's a big situation with Young Jock. I but. did a song with Young Jock. Yeah, he actually hit me up. I was traveling. I was in Jacksonville and he um he wanted to do a, a record with a Florida artist. He hit us up. Um I actually recorded it in the hotel. I remember like it was yesterday. I, I damn near didn't have no voice to do it. We've been doing shows all that weekend. But right before we released the song, no um the shots out to Plies, you know what I'm saying? This ain't no disrespect. That's my dog. I produced songs on, on Plies album, you know what I'm saying? That went platinum, so I am a platinum producer. But um the song was called Bruh Bruh. And y'all know Plies got a song called Bruh Bruh. And it was just a little too similar, so we didn't decide to release the record. It was a, it was crazy, but we didn't release it because it was too similar. And then shot out the man, rest in peace to um, Mr. Magic. I did a song with Mr. Magic from um, New Orleans, um, New Orleans. Used to be signed with um, No Limit. But that's just a little my on my background, man. Make sure y'all hit that share button so that y'all know I've been in this industry, you know, for a minute. 
made my own mark in this industry and a lot of and i got a lot of reasons why but i'm finna show y'all we're finna get into it lately y'all been seeing all this going on by young thug um gunner and all these other artists going to jail getting indicted and all these rico charges and shit but we finna go a step deeper we calling this to this from here tonight big pimping because that's what them labels do they big pimp artists and i'm finna show y'all we're finna make this shit all make sense y'all gonna look at the music industry totally different after the day Y'all gonna look at labels totally different after the day, but we somebody gotta do it and we finna do it. Now listen, I want y'all to understand. They gave the game, let's go back to the comments, because we got so many comments out of this. Um, they gave the game to the youngsters for a reason. Now, we went over this in the Willie Lynch letter. Right. Turn the old against the young. Yes. Or turn the young against the old. Let me say it like that. Turn the young against the old. As you see in the rap game, that's exactly what's happened. You can't tell a young guy, 16, 17 year old, with 300,000 in their pocket, nothing. And that's by design. You're yes. talking about undeveloped minds. These just undeveloped minds. They, they, you know, why you think when you rent a car, they, was, they wanted you to be 25? Because you, you consider developed at the age of 25. You know what I'm saying? You haven't went through enough wisdom or you haven't had enough wisdom or went through enough things to determine, decipher what's right, what's wrong, just through trial and error. Like you might know what's right and wrong, but you ain't went through it enough to kind of say, I know what's right and wrong, but I don't know why. I know what, but I don't know why. Like, you know not to do that, but you don't know why. But when you go through it a few times, by the time you get age 25, I say a little older, you start to get wisdom and they, okay, why? Okay, now I know why they said that shit. Right. But we're finna go a step further. Now listen, this is why we call it big pimping, right? They use these youngsters. You have to understand how, how powerful music is. Music is a ritual. We talked about that so many times. When you chanting, when you chanting, tell the club up, tell the club, that's a chant. So we're finna go deep. We're going, we're gonna go, we're gonna go into the science of it, and we're gonna go into the negative uh satanic part of this shit. So make sure y'all lock in. Hit that share button, okay? Because we finna go in. This is the Pop It Up podcast. Now, listen. When you chanting, imagine you got thousands of people out there. See, these young, these young guys these days, they don't know what the acronym MC stands for. A lot nope. of people don't know what it stands for. If y'all know what it stands for, put it in the comments. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to tell y'all, MC stands for Master of Ceremonies. Ceremonies are where rituals are performed. See how deep this shit go? Now you know they now you know the devil was a musician. Why you think they use music for everything? That shit is so influential. Why you think they create big artists? As I as I went up the chain of music, I saw how it had nothing to do with music. Anybody will tell you this shit 90% business. 90 Hold on, Papa Doug. They ain't business. Here. It had nothing to do with what? It got nothing to do with music. Come on, man. This shit is 90 Y'all, it is percent business. 10% talent. This is how bullshit can come in the rap game or the music industry, period, and flourish. Why? Because I keep telling you, when you don't own nothing, you can't per you cannot create the perception. These people own record labels, they own arenas, they own radio stations, TV stations. Yes. They put who in front of you who they want. And it's whoever called. they put in front of you who's willing to tap dance and do what they say do, that's who get the big check. Now you see what I'm saying? I have integrity, my nigga. I don't give a fuck. All money ain't good money. That's why I love y'all to be uncalled. Y'all give me hope to keep doing what I'm doing. Right. You have to understand, I came from a very, very, like, bro, my career don't owe me nothing. But as I got up into this music shit, I really saw what it was. I done been in them offices. I know what time it is, bro. You'll never get another Tupac. They'll never put money behind a, a, a rapper that's gonna liberate their people. They want the opposite. No. Now, let, now, let, now let's think about this for a second, right? And we're gonna get into it. I'm finna blow y'all mind, man. Please tune the fuck in. Bro. Hit that share button. Please hit that share button, please. You're listening to the Papa Duck Podcast. Understand this, right? Understand this, what these labels do, right? These labels, like I say, they take these jits and make them make songs that literally, and I've done it, I was once son of that spell too. Literally talk about killing each other. True. Think about that for a minute. If you go on YouTube right now, go to a rap playlist. 
play the first song. Soon as they talk about killing, shooting guns, go to the next song. You will never make it through the first. You ain't going to make it the first 30 seconds. You ain't going to make it. But you have to understand. See, that's what I had to understand. I'm like, damn, my nigga, y'all, y'all gonna y'all want us to just talk about kid. We literally talking about shoe, Dracos, switches on the guns, and <laughs> all kind of shit. We literally talking about killing each other. Literally. Literally. There's no more R and B. <laughs> no. There's no see, you have to understand from a from a from a scientific standpoint of music, from the scientific standpoint of music. R&B was a was a frequency that brought out emotions. It's just like um, gospel music, right? What's the lowest of the low when it comes to frequencies of music? Rap music. That's why you got the 808, the low. Anybody who know what I'm talking about, they know. I want that low. That's a low frequency that go like this. When they go like this, that's a high frequency. So that's why they play and put um, drugs, guns, killing, and sex, sex? and all that yeah. into... Rap music because it's a low vibrational music. Right. Why you think when they pass in the collection plate round, they go to playing them hymns? Mm, they get you in your feelings. Yes. You see how frequency work? I keep trying to tell y'all this shit real. This ain't no joke. Frequencies are real. Bro, you got to understand why you think they see if you know anything about music science or frequencies. It is real, bro. This is no joke. This is why some songs you can hear that shit that make you start crying. I did a song called Jun Jun. That song was so deep when I talked about how Jun passed. A lot of y'all might can see this. I got a tattoo on my arm. Man, I got Jun everywhere. I got him on here. I got him on my arm. I got him over here. But I wrote a song about him and him passing. The song was so like potent and vivid. We've had people pass out performing the song. And it was a, it was very hard for me to perform it. I cried every time I performed it. I stopped performing it because of the the emotions, and you know what I'm saying? When people pulling your heartstrings, right? Now, let's, let, we're gonna go a little deeper. That's more of the science part of the music. But like right. I say, on the low vibrational part, that's that's the rock, the rap, the hip hop, the guns, the holds, all that stuff. Then you move up into a higher vibration, inspirational music, music that make you cry, pull feelings out. These ain't different songs. These are different frequencies, man. That's all it is. Now, step further. Now you got these jits literally in the in the studio, every song, I'm gonna kill you, I'm gonna shoot your mammy highs up. I'm gonna then they even going for just going on these dudes dead graves doing videos. Yeah, no, that's that's the stuff deep. That's deep. That's so fucking disrespectful, my nigga. Like at the end of the day, we talking about undeveloped minds, right? Now, kids are there to 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 speak to other kids. These rappers got more influence on your children than you. A lot of y'all. Hold on, say it again, bro. These rappers got more influence over your own kids than you. And all I'm saying is, and I'm the not saying. And the crazy thing about it is that they listen to those same rappers and they glorify those rappers in front of their kids. So that See, helps. You, the... Hold on, you're going a little too fast. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hey, we getting up. We getting up. We getting up. We 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 getting up. You, hey, Steve is one thousand percent right. Please believe it's Steve. I'm gonna tell you why. And we we doing these skits, right? We doing these skits. One of the skits we doing that's coming up is how older people, adults, parents ride around listening to rap music with their kids, and right. they don't, don't do that. That's poison. I used to do this. I, I yeah, I used to rap about shooting a nigga and all this shit. I'm from Bell Glade. I done seen this shit. But as I, I've always rapped about other stuff too. But I'm now, I just. I've I've I vibrated up to a point where I don't even talk about that no more. Now I know why. Yeah, already said he vibrated. He didn't grow. He vibrated. Yeah, I, yeah. Come on, man, man. Come on, man. How come you got on, rappers man. that literally can't? They used to train you to do interviews back in the day. Yeah. Now they want you to get on that bitch, twisting your head, talking stupid as fuck. Now look what's happening to these kids, bro. I don't think they heard you, bro. They trained you to do interviews. They trained you. But now they ain't training. They ain't training. But oh. we finna go deeper. Y'all gotta deep, stay man. with me. Man, y'all hit that share button. This game's so deep, man. Yeah. Make sure y'all hit that share button. Make sure y'all hit that share. Because think about it. If, if, a, if a young rapper that talking about number killing can come and say something to your child, your child be geeked up. Yeah. That's what it's supposed to do. See, exactly. They get a game to these jits. The jits gonna run the jits. Got right. the whole world ass bikes. Right. right. But they gave it to the jits for a reason. In the um Willie Lynch letter, turn the young against the old. The old has wisdom that's priceless. 
These just don't give a fuck. They got 300000 in their pocket. They ain't trying to hear nothing. And they're going to continue to put Takashi 6 9 in front of it. Like, all this rap done went so loony tune, man. I don't give a damn about being a rapper no more. I'm an artist. I've always been an artist. I engineer. I make beats. I do it all. Snatch the equipment apart, put it together. I really in love with my crowd. This ain't, I'm not just a nigga pull up at the studio sitting in the chair rapping. Let's go a little deeper. You have to understand, private prisons work closely with record labels. Hmm. Y'all hear that? Did y'all did hmm. y'all really hear what's going on? The private prison system work hand in hand with the labels. With labels. Now, nah, and we're finna break that down. This is where the young you see all that. Oh, young thug going to jail, Rico, woo woo woo. Then you got Gunner. Now they trying to fuck with baby, little baby. Bro, I'm gonna tell y'all something, man. Music is one of the biggest, music and fashion is one of the biggest tools that they use to corrupt the mind of the young. And I'm telling you, I'm doing these type of you know podcasts and we talking about this type of shit because I once too did that type of shit too. Right. But we we changing that up. But I'm just gonna show y'all finna break this shit down. Stay with me. Now, if the record labels work closely with private prisons, private prisons is big money. I'm finna break this shit down. Now let's go, let's go over here. Let's do this, right? Let's do this for one second. Let me show y'all something, right? You understand know what I'm saying? Let me show y'all, right? Now check this out. I want to show y'all this. Hold on, I ain't, I ain't going nowhere yet. Hold on. Hold on. Matter of fact, let's do this. Now, now y'all stay with me. Now let's do this. Now look, 12 major. If y'all can see this, let me know. You know what I'm saying? Throw up, throw up a one. If y'all can see this, y'all should be able to see this, this screenshot. Right? Now check it. 12 major corporations benefiting from the prison in, uh, industrial uh, complex. Now listen. Look now. Check this out. When these jitterbug talking about killing and shooting and shit, man, there's so many people in prison behind that shit trying to live it. And there's so many people dead trying to live it. This shit is a big pimping. That's why we calling this big pimping. This is big pimping at its finest. And when they done with the one they using now, <laughs> they got thousands lined up to sign that little $200,000 deal, man. But listen, prison label, uh, prison label in the United States is referred to as insourcing, not outsourcing. <laughs> so that let you know you are incarcerated, nigga. You in. So, so you in sourcing. Before you, you even get there. Come yeah. on. Y'all ain't popping up talking. Y'all hear this. Now listen, prison label in the United States is referred to as insourcing under the work opportunity tax credit, WOTC. Don't I know I guarantee you a lot. Don't nobody know about that. This is how they do. Employers, that was, that's the motherfucker that gave you the job. The employers receive a tax credit of two thousand and four hundred dollars. Now, right there, gonna make an employer look for inmates to hire. You see how this shit go? They're gonna put that little piece of meat in front of you to keep you coming. This that piece of meat. Because employers probably like, hell no, I don't want no convict. But if I can get a two thousand, you know, tax credit, I'm gonna do it. You know what I'm saying? For every work release inmate, they employ as a reward for hiring risky target groups. That's crazy. Now look at this. The workers are not only cheap labor. <laughs> this shit gonna blow your mind. The workers are not only cheap labor, but they are considered easier to control. That word control. Y'all remember, remember that word control. Control. They also tend to be African American males. Come on, man. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Y'all hear this? Look now, companies are free to avoid providing. They don't have to provide. Companies are free to avoid providing benefits like health insurance or sick days. They also don't need to worry about unions. Okay. Demands for vacation time, uh, raises, or family issues. Nigga, you was a slave. Let's get back over here. Hold on, bro. And the majority is African Americans. Yeah. So African Americans, they target us with the music. They put us in prison. They pay these corporations to hire us and, and limit us from, to our life with our family and future. Bingo. Tell us no benefit, no sick days. Bingo. Our family don't mean nothing. Bingo. And cheap labor. Bingo. So basically, Bingo. They, did, they control our life. Hell yeah. Prison. On, let me man. tell you something, brother. When you sit, when you, you remember that show they used to have when they used to um, put cars in the hood and when people go in and steal them, they take them to jail. That's entrapment. Entrapment, man. The fuck? 
that's entrapment. So basically, they started music to control you. And in the years, in in 10-year span, they got control of you with no benefits, no health care issues. And so they yeah. buy properties. So what we're doing is continue to be controlled by them at all angles of our life. Why you think they got wow. young? They got wow. Young. They gave the rap game to the young, wow. undeveloped minds. Wow. Right? To get on here to speak about killing, doing all this shit. You know what I'm saying? These jits listening to that. Man, look at some of these jits. Man, I wish I had this one video where this jit was in school, my nigga. In school. Jit had a book site full of guns. The other jit had guns on him. Other jit had guns on him. All them boys got guns on them, bro. Dog, how can... And, 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 and I'm going to say this too, though. I'm going to say this too. They use people like Future. This ain't no, this ain't no, like I don't, I don't bite my tongue when I say what I say. I look at it for what it is. They gonna use a motherfucker like Future. Future was one of the first one to get on the record on, on, on all his all his hit songs to talk about um, prescription drugs. See how the switch, it went from the street drugs to the prescription drugs. During that same era, Future would drop code. He talking about on um, the Percocets, the this, the that, the whoop, the woo. We talking about, we talking about urban radio. Urban radio. Yeah, that's, like, that's just like a, a white rapper rapping about this killing or whatever. You're gonna be like, what the hell? But we so we so like listening to this shit, we're so immune to it. So we're not even thinking about man, he just getting on songs talking about killing on every motherfucking record. Killing, 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 killing. I'm gonna shoot you, I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna come get your mama, I'm gonna shoot your dog. Every song, bro. What you think that does? See, it's a big loophole. When them jit talk about it, jits go out there, commit the crimes. They put them in jail. They throw the rappers in jail. You feel what I'm saying? You got rappers behind bars for the music. They allowing them to push out the... That right. shit crazy as hell. Now, this the kicker. Young Thug signed the 300. Right. right? And, 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 and I think Atlantic Records... Uh, YSL. Now I'm not talking about they. I'm not talking about the primary or the immediate com uh, companies. Record companies. I'm not talking about you know the uh, quality controls. Now I'm talking about the big wig companies. Atlantic Records, 300. Trust me, they are not coming to court. They're not associating themselves with this shit. They are not finna put their name or follow you or get behind you or support you. The same music they telling you, yeah, come on, we gonna put. Come it on, up. bro. You mean to tell me they yeah, they pushing man. you to do Listen. all this stuff, and then we, when when they, when, when the, when the pop boil over, they ain't coming. Hell and, no. And they got a power control to get the best lawyers out. Listen, come on, man. They Y'all. do the same thing in sports. Come on, man. Man, at, as long as it's under the reps, oh, they they'll keep it on the hush. But when that shit go public, man, oh no, we, we, he's not a part of this association. So basically, your liability. Man, this shit bull. Man, these <laughs> folk tell you, turn your ass, man. Long as you talking about killing and, 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 and all that shit, they're going to put it out there. And when you go to jail for the shit you talking about, man, them folk ain't showing up to coke. They ain't finna say no Lord. They ain't doing nothing. Get shot and think they're going to send you some balloons. They not. So this was this. See, this shit big pimping. But we just, we just getting started. Y'all just chill out. We just getting started. Y'all hear that shit, but it's getting deep, man. Yeah. It's yeah, getting we, deep, We, we man. just getting started. It's getting deep. Check this out. We just getting started. Let's go over here, right? Look what it say. Eight out of every 10 law enforcement professionals, that's 81%, actively use social media as a tool in investigations. Eight out of every 10. Law enforcement professionals. See the word professional. That means these bitches are professionals. When you taking them pictures, you got your gun. Them, I seen a big get fucked up on um, first 48 hours. You know how he got, matter of fact, I'm gonna talk about that in a second. But listen, eight out of eight out of every 10 law enforcement professionals, that's 81%, actively use social media as a tool in investigations. 67% of the respondents indicate that social media monitoring is a valuable process in um, anticipating crimes, right? When used as an in, um, investigational tool, 73% believe social media can help solve cases more quickly. Come on. Not solve cases. No, we we already solving them. We saying we help them bitches help solve quickly. Now let's go down right here, bro. Uh, did you know that social media can be used as a tool by law enforcement to investigate 
and ultimately bring criminal charges against people. Now look, social media posts and even private messages okay, regularly end up uh, being used in criminal cases as evidence against a defendant. Fuck on. So all the new coming rappers c coming up and they're doing all this on Instagram, Facebook, and they're living this dream and they ain't no, no, nobody behind them. It's really hurt them. Hell, listen, the crazy part is they don't even know no damn better. Yep. We're talking about undeveloped minds, man. We're talking about 15, 16 year olds, man. Damn, man. Undeveloped, my, bro. When I was that young, I couldn't even listen to this shit, let alone rap. I couldn't. I sure couldn't. But the thing is this, and let me share this story with y'all. Song first for that, right? And matter of fact, if you watch first for that, you know a lot of these, a lot of these um cases get solved with social media. Now listen, dude was at the Waffle House. He got into it with another dude. I think it was in Lauderdale. Dude got into it with another dude. Dude called his homeboy up there, right? Homeboy came up there and saw the guy who the dude was arguing with riding off. And the dude would tell him that he go right there. As the dude rolled by and started continue to follow them, they took a picture of the outfit he had on. Home had on a jean outfit, right? He followed them onto I-95 and shot them while they was on 95 and killed them. You know how they saw that case? They went on the dude's social media, matched the car with the outfit, and the man had the gun and all with the same outfit on, matched the gun up and everything, homie. Come on, bro. When I tell when I tell these young dudes, man, you going to prison, man. I'm not motherfucking playing. You going to prison. You know why? You're not organized. You're going up against people who come to work every day. And their job is to find a way to get you. Yeah. It's already a trap. It's now, already a trap. Now I'm told somebody, uh, uh, a, 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 a police officer said, you know what? People think they're smart. They get lucky every day. We get lucky when we don't go to y'all knocking and don't pick you up. That's crazy to me. That blew my mind. Like, what? So, yeah. People you think that we don't know what they're doing. We know what they're doing. They yeah, get lucky yeah, they every know. day. You get lucky every day. I don't come to get you. We get lucky of this day to go get that person. Man, let me tell you something. These folk go to work every day to find ways to lock you up, right? Yes. The average dude, all they doing is walking up on the block, smoking a joint, talking about what the fuck going on on ESPN. Yes. Homie, you going to prison, homie. Yep. You lucky every day don't come get you. Bitch, you going to prison. And get what? I've been living long enough. And I don't got to ask nobody that. Bitch, I'm telling you. I'm an OG. You going to prison, man. You're not organized. The dudes around you not organized. I told y'all this a million times. If it's four or five of y'all and something happened, y'all need to let each one know. If something happened to you, everything took care of. You can go just lay down. Just shut your mouth and chill. Just know we finna take care of everything. But when you, do, when you don't do that and you go to jail, first thing you do, it gonna be motherfucker coming in and out of that bitch. I'd have been to jail plenty of time. It gonna be niggas coming in and out of there telling you, well, your lady out there fucking with such and such. Oh, yeah, man. I said, now your head running. They ain't picking up no phone call because they scared you snitching. Bro, you're not organized, bro. You're going to prison. These folks organized. It's not even a game. To, like to them, it's like dangling some cheese in front of you. You're gonna get it. Yep. And they're gonna lock you up when they get ready. This shit is just, it's just, it's just a business for them. It's a business. I told y'all. Religion is your mother, business is your father. And this is why I say this, because everything results back to business. Man, y'all hit that share button. Now we just linking, we linking record companies with private prisons. And we're gonna do that in a second. Now let me let me let me do this up. This podcast is getting deep. G y'all yeah. hit that share button. Sure hit, man. That share button man. hit that share button. Let's get into this shit, man. And this ain't just for no no. Uh, record company music. This world. This just. This just. This worldwide. When it comes to what these folks do. Now look. Look at some of the businesses that's using, um, inmates. And now, now, now notice when you go to jail, you are you are a slave. Okay. Yes. You. Why you think what what slaves did? They did labor. Yep. 
So when you go to jail, you, you, you your amendment, you, you a slave now. We finna use you to do cheap labor. And get what? You think they finna let small, struggling companies get that cheap labor from these, from these uh, inmates? No, it's gonna be big corporations. That's why when I go places, baby, talking about, oh, you wanna, can you donate? I ain't donate a damn thing. Donate what? I don't go to no McDonald's, but if you look at the sign, they say, we serve billions. What the fuck I look like donating to y'all for? But anyway, listen now, biggest corporation now, McDonald's. McDonald's uses inmates to produce frozen foods. Inmates produce, um, process beef for patties. Um, they may also um, 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 process bread, milk, and chicken products. McDonald's. Mc freaking Donald's. Wendy's. Look at these companies. Walmart. Did y'all know Starbucks was um was started up uh, from a financial standpoint from uh, Bill Gates' daddy? <laughs> All these people in cahoots, my nigga. Sprint. 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 Verizon. Victoria don't tell nobody. Victoria's Secret. So all these big companies that we who, who I'm praising about. JC Penny. Yeah. <laughs> we already, if you know anything about Sears, Sears was a was a a, a slave um a company that owned slaves. Sears. Come on, man. Let's get y'all hit that share button. Y'all hit Papa Duck talking. This is Papa Duck Podcast, man. That hit that share button, button. It's getting deep. Dog, the shit is crazy, dog. You have to understand what you're dealing with. Now, you have to under, when, when I'm showing you these on a whole nother level, see, of course they're gonna keep signing these jits. We need them. I'm, it, we need y'all to go to jail. Why you? Yes. I'm gonna tell you another thing. It's gonna blow your mind. If you research why they don't want you feeding the homeless, when you get down to the get down now, first of all, you 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 okay with a country, or you vote for presidents that tells you not to feed the homeless. We should go against your religious morals, but it don't. That's why I say this shit just bullshit, man. All the religious people, not no no disrespect, but you can't live in the land of, of, of God letting another man dictate what you can and can't do. Y'all hear that? that? You can't live in the land of God with another man dictate nah. what you do. Not a, not a, not a, not a man. You Come should, on, man. You, if you want to go feed the homeless, you should be able to do that. But they take you to jail. Why? Because when you research it and you get down to the get down, they basically saying that. You stopping them for committing crimes. They need them to commit crimes. They go to jail. Hold on, Papa Duck. Hold on, Papa Duck. Yeah. Hold on, Papa Duck. Y'all, hold on, Papa Duck. It's come on, bro. You mean to tell me they don't want you to feed the homeless because they want them to commit crime? They want them to commit crime. You stopping them for committing crime? Come on, man. Man, you already know. Thank you for that contribution. Yes. Thank you so much for that, man. We just putting out their game, man. All contributions goes back into this channel. That's how we pay for promotions and stuff like that to push this channel. So thank you so much for that contribution, man. I really appreciate that. Bro, you know, bro, we got to learn a little bit more of this. Thing. You talking about the homeless people to sign. Yeah. I will need, need food and the work for money. They don't want us helping them because they put them in now, prison. It's everything, listen, everything re results back to business. Soliciting. Let's talk about soliciting. We used to sell CDs in the, at the mall. Same as panhandling. You know, they, you know what the soliciting is? Bucking taxes. Yes. So basically what they saying is this. We made, we spent all their money to build. Hold on right quick. We got to get this. Y'all got to, excuse me for one second. We got to plug it. We got to plug this laptop up. Y'all know what it is, man. How about I tell y'all like, man, hit that share button. Cause it's getting deep. Hit that share button. Okay, boom. There we go. Now listen, we ain't, finna, we ain't finna let the devil fuck us up. Not, uh, hey, that's not sharp, buddy. But listen, check it out. Now check it. You bucket tight. So baby, what they saying is we, we spun all their money to build this mall, to, to draw all these people. And here it is, you trying to, you know, short stop. And they came up with the word soliciting. Now you've noticed anything that they can't tax is illegal. Yes. You notice that? Anything that they can't tax is illegal. Yes. See, I'm telling the bullshit these people pay and I, I play, and I'm trying to explain to you. Panhandling, you bucking taxes. We can't have you doing that. Mm -mm. But we found out a way how to uh, get around it. Shouts out to my boy, um, Big Hen. 
Hen, he's definitely one of the ones that donates and do a lot yeah, with hen. the homeless. I'm talking about <laughs> a lot, man. We double salute you for yeah. that. But find out a way to get around that, and that's to throw a party for the homeless. They can't stop you from throwing a party. Y'all don't seen plenty of time. These people, you got people out the kind of their heart might go buy a lot of pizzas and they don't want to give out the pizzas. They taking these people to jail. And, so, and for y'all law, like the law enforcement people that, how, how what kind of, how can y'all stop some somebody from feeding people? See, that's the spell. Yep. The badge. The you badge. Want you want to spell. That shit is a spell. And the very people that got you, that wrote that constitution and told you what you, you can't do that, you can't do that. What the fuck are they? Yeah. What are, what are they at? Man, it's getting deep. Y'all hit that share button. <laughs> Bro. But let's stay on topic, right? Let's stay on top. Now I want to show y'all something right quick with these private prisons, man. Gonna blow y'all mind. And we finna get into this, man. Y'all please hit that share button, man. Don't go nowhere, bro. But check this out right here. Prisoners, legitimate workforce, right? They're prisoners. So, so the convict lease system, in, in essence, it was the, the, the primer and the precursor to what we know now as the private prison corporation, the private prison industry. Prisons is booming. Private industry. You can own one yourself. Yep. You can pick a town, build one, and own one. Private. What do you think they're doing with prisons? They making, they making everything that's in this room. They making in the prison. They making, you can't even see the floor in the prison. They cut up your meat. Your meat. If you eat chicken, down south, one day the kids are really, really eat chicken or beef. They get cut up in the meat in the back. They make toys upstate. They make toys. They make the little race cars for the kids. They make everything. I've been in jail. My brothers is in jail. They make license plates. They make tables. They make engines to car. They make everything that you see on the streets mm. in the penitentiary, and they get crumbs for that shit. The white folks is manufacturing it. This is a warehouse. That's all that shit is. It's a clock in, clock. You come out, you work, and, 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 and shit. you make us some license plates. You make us some some, some tires. You make us some rims. You make speaker boxes. They make all that shit in the penitentiary, man. And this is the motherfuckers to, to coverage. And you mean to tell me these people can make an unbiased decision whether or not we go to parole board, whether to let their free labor go? Of course they're going to say, oh, yeah, hit them, give them two more years. Yeah. The private prison corporations go to the legislature and say, we're going to solve your overcrowding problem. We have a prison built already, and you just need to give us the bodies and give us a sum of money per head per day. Mm. Okay. So it is this immaculate conception and partnership between the private and the public sector to perpetuate the system of modern day slavery. Yeah. If jails become businesses, what do you have to do? You have to market for your business. Music. And, 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 and who are you market? Who are you I mean, being a business major? You have to have your you have to have your target audiences. And who are your target audiences? Black. My people. Mm -hmm. These people are coming home, and they coming home worse. These people are incarcerated. You're not teaching them nothing because the fact you took away college in 1995, you took away college from from from, from the prison system, so these people can't come home and, and, with with college degrees, so they coming home worse than when they went in. Mm -hmm. So what you're really doing is you're really putting shit on pancakes for the syrup. Mm. <laughs> hey. Hey man, oh y'all hit that share button. Make sure y'all hit that share button, man. This shit real, man. This ain't no joke. Call. Hopefully, man, this will open the eyes to a lot of people to help prevent their kids from either listening to a lot of this shit or just understanding that business. When it comes to business, prison is a business. Like like homie said, of course they're gonna deny your parole. We need you to keep making this shit. And the crazy part is they're not letting small struggling businesses benefit from this no. it's the it's the big businesses that's getting that that's that's making billions of dollars by cheap labor like nigga america is sat up on some bullshit and that's why i tell people people get caught up in that black and white shit man i don't know now white man that can change nothing come on papa dog i'm gonna come tell on, you bro. why i'm gonna tell you why a lot of white people understand, man, they, they in the same boat, man. You can call it how you want to call it. Right. You might have a small little few perks here and there. But, man, these people these people are literally fucking over all of us. 
all of us. And if you don't have the conscious consciousness to understand that, or maybe you do understand that, but you okay with the perks, whatever it may be, you ain't crazy. Right. It's the True. same thing, homie. These people gonna keep us fighting against each other on the lower yep. level to keep us distracted. How in the hell you go vote for a motherfucker that, that that allow prisoners to make cheap products to for for major corporations? Right. How? It it don't make sense. If you're a small struggling business, and that's even fucked up. But if you're a small struggling business, why you can't sign up and try to get some of that 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 cheap labor? And and it's fucked up regardless. But I'm just saying, I'm showing you. I'm, I told y'all, man, sharks are born swimming, bro. True. A shark is born swimming. So at the end of the day, you understand me? These folk got us all tricked and fucked up. And I'm just speaking from a music standpoint. How they use the music, get it to the young. Man, talk about killing each other, man. Yeah, we're going to play this on the radio all day. Some of the big homies like Future and all them, man. Man, them boys don't give a damn. Long as they getting that check. Dog, I have integrity, dog. It's just some things I'm not gonna do. And I've, I, I mean, I done been in them offices, like I'm telling y'all, been in them offices. Man, when I realize what that shit is, man, bro, I don't want no part. I'm cool, bro. Like at the end of the day, I'm all right with just y'all fucking with me. I done traveled, bro. A lot of y'all know me from these videos, man. I done did it all, man. I don't, bro, this shit don't owe me nothing. But at the same time, I feel way better now than I ever did because I understand what this shit for. But at the end of the day, it's about business, bro. All that personal shit people be talking, it's about business. Prison is a business. You know how many motherfuckers died in prison? A lot of people, man. From, yeah. from, from poor health care, poor conditions, right. living in rat infested. Bro, check on your people, man. My thing is this, man. Why in the hell, out of all these millions of people, why we just came together and said, man, fuck, man, let's, let's, let's do away with this. You know why? Because it's a lot of people in a lot of different positions that benefit from this. Exactly. It doesn't, it doesn't affect them right now. Right. And this is when you separate and give people different classes, like upper class, middle class, lower class, that separate us as people. But yet we still all on the same plantation as cows. We, they, we're cattle. It's all business, bro. That's why I say business is your father, religion is your mother, because it's going to boil back to them two things. Now, I'm just showing y'all how they use music to march them in. And he just going to jail left and right trying to be hard on mute. But he been literally talking about killing each other, homie. Yes. Hey. Yo, fuck you expect And one of your songs that you just recently released, it say uh, killing black folks is not a white problem. It's a black on black problem. Yeah. That's true. The thing about it, though, man, it's like this. So, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, homie, that's true. People have committed suicide in prison, dog. People, people in prison. Man, I get a lot of calls from people in prison, bro. It's messed up in them. You get what I'm saying? Right. And, and and the crazy part about it, you go to prison, you come out, you can't, you can't, you can't bear arms, you can't get nope. jobs, nope. bro. You you going right by. So basically, what they did, they program you to be a institutionalized person with your life. Of course, it's like it's like. People, like homie said, people going in prison, coming out worse than they went in. Yes. Yes. Think about it. You come out of prison, bro, you can't do this. You can't all of because of a mistake you made. But some people don't say, before you say, oh, he shouldn't have did what he did. Man, let me put you in an environment with limited resources. Come on, Papa Duck. Come on, bro. And why? I hear that shell button. Y'all hear, bro, he ain't preaching. He's been spending some truth with some real Jews right Watch now. what happened. Everybody don't hustle the same, bro. I mean, let me put you in an environment with limited resources and then fit, fit it up with social media where you see all these people hanging out, big stacks of money, fake money. Women, jewelry. men, all kind of stuff going you know, on, moving fast. You, you the man in the city, woman in the yeah. city. You know, hey, life is good, you know? Bitch showing you they highlights. Bitch ain't showing you when them lights got cut off. Damn. Bitch ain't showed you when them lights got Pop cut off. you the shit. Bitch ain't showed you when the bitch pulled up on and slapped the teeth out their mouth. Come on, man. It's highlights. It's highlights. And they, it, bro, it's even worse because they use social media now to, to paint the picture in your mind, to make you think this is what all women want. Even women think that's what all men, um, women want. The shit crazy. I watched something yesterday, uh, a video on social media, and dude was like, you know, I hit it 25 years in prison, five years in, uh, in juvie, and 20 years in prison. He said uh, he was in there, uh, and um, 
and, and all the young jitterbugs coming up. He was in there. He said, hey, man, call my mama know you. Call my mama. He called the mama. Yeah, I know him. Then he gave, he said, man, how, how long before I go home? He said, give me your discovery. Give me a paperwork. He read it. He said, 2073. That's life, nigga. A <laughs> life, bro. Life. Cause you trying to be hard. All the hoes gone. All the dudes gone. He said, it's life. You're 20 years old. You got 2073. He said, man, no, nah, bro. <laughs> Living a fake lifestyle. But it's called programming. Yeah, that shit is like, yeah, it's, it's definitely programmed. And and this is the thing. They program us from what they put in front of us because they created this matrix, right? Yes. Now, once they get you with that RNA, now they can program you re remotely. I told y'all about the rat that they had trained in one state and the, and the rat in another state, they hooked them up like through a simulator or something. The rat in another state was able to uh, read the things that that the other rat was taught. So that rat was being controlled remotely. This is what's going to happen through RNA. They putting RNA in food. Yes. How you think this big shit that just happened just now went on? Yes. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I can't say it to Big C. <sighs> Man, that shit showed me how controlled people are. That shit showed me how fucked up we are. That, it showed me that I told y'all fear is a business. You don't know nothing about your health. So we go to the doctor, no matter what the doctor tells you, you believe it. Oh, you know, shot. I'm telling you, man, my baby mama went through that cancer thing and I was there with her. And I'm telling you, man, before she got insurance, they wouldn't talk to her. They wouldn't take no phone calls. Soon she get insurance, oh, they flying us out. They picking us up in limos, my fit. Man, this is a business. I met so many people, dog, in them places. When you walk into them cancer centers, homie, that shit like walking in a graveyard, dog. It's just, it's the whole mood. Just I'm telling you, it ain't what it is. And it's sad, bro. We living in a world, dog, where we really being told what to do. We been going through this twelve step brainwash camp right. in school. We ain't done. We just been taught fucked up. Talk. You think black people that dumb? We been taught that if I teach a dog to kill and he kill. And when he kill, you want to point your finger at him? Right. That's exactly what happened in the people. Right. Then they hire people like Wendy Williams. People who don't care or don't have no integrity or talk about anybody. None. No disrespect to Wendy Williams, but I don't I don't have respect for her because she'll get on there and she carry out those things that most people want to talk about for a dollar. That's why I love Dave Chappelle. People right. that are stand up right. for something, you know what I'm saying? Because under them conditions, we he may not can't speak about every every little thing, right? But I commend him for turning down a lot of shit and being vocal about a lot of shit, right? Somebody asked me about the MK Ultra shit. We're gonna talk about that on a whole nother podcast. A whole other podcast. Yeah. MK Ultra shit is real, it's mind control shit through Hollywood, and y'all can yes. go look it up. Um, um, uh, what the girl name? What the lady name is? And Rose, Anna, not Anna Rose, but what her name is. Damn, what her name is. Kind of heavy set white chick used to be on that um this show. If y'all yeah. know her name, man, put it on the comment, man. Her name's something. She speak about that shit. And bro, uh, Nicole Williams is a programmer, you know, right? Before we take phone calls, this one topic that that uh we gotta talk about. You know, when you talk about the music, prison systems, yeah. radio, right? Everybody said, oh, this rapper got a the, the number one hit record. Oh, man, it's the best song in the, in the country right now. Why? Because it's called programming. Radio companies program you. They keep beating your head at all radio stations, right? And on the code. How come a person in New York, a person in Florida and California got the same record in their ear saying it's so hot? And the song is really trash, but it's called the radio station. They beat on your head repeatedly. Why is that? It's programming, right? Yeah, let me get let me let me break that down for y'all. I, I had a real good friend of mine named Mike. He was into radio, right? What people don't understand with radio, um, to get songs on the radio, you're gonna pay on the low end, yes, 25 grand for a region, and that's only for like mix show type shit. If you really want to really work a record, you're gonna spend two hundred thousand all the way up to five hundred. So the more you spend, the bigger the record gets. So don't, right. don't be fooled. This shit right. all about payola, right? Now. My, my my good friend Mike told me, and, and I want y'all to pay close attention to this. He said, Duck, any record can break. It's just some break quicker than others. He said, You give me a garbage record. I can pay it, I can play it 
a million times. Yeah, Roseanne. That's her name. Roseanne. I don't know if that's Anna. Yeah, Roseanne. Let me let me say it. MK Ultra. Just type in MK Ultra Roseanne. She was the um the woman on that sick on that um that, that TV show. And she speaks about it. This shit is real. This is a mind control thing. I even got so many videos on this shit. But she speaks about it. It's a mind control. That's why I say turn that TV off. And when that little thing come across TV, somebody like, tell me something. We're doing a programming. Those are frequencies. Another video. But listen, he say any record can break. Any record. Any record if you play it long enough. So the more money you put on this record, the more they're going to play it. And guess what? You ever had, you ever listen to a song be like, it's a dumb ass song. Dumb, dumb, dumb. But you done heard that beat 50 times, then you start, start singing start, that shit. No, you start moving with it, start moving. So, I want y'all to pay close attention to what I just said. They programmed you. When you're dealing with radio, they got what they call radio programmers. Radio programmers are the ones that tells the DJs what they can and can't play. That's not just with radio. If I put a, like them ugly ass pediatric pediatric jazz shoes people was running around wearing, I don't know if they was Gucci's or them shoes so ugly, but they threw it on enough um, celebrities and people with influence till you saw it so much and then you start liking it. Start liking it. Them shoes ugly as fuck. Yep. Not just shoes. It's so many things. So you have to understand psychology, how the human brain works. You can be programmed. If you saw something enough or enough people like something, they can make yes. whatever they want blow up. Think about what I'm saying. You are easily programmed. The difference is they don't have to use radio no more. TV, influence, TV. RNA. Go look up RNA. Television. Go See, look up RNA. We, we, we talk this all the time. Television. It tells you a vision. It does. And and the crazy, you know, so fucked about a, about a television. You got to go buy the motherfucker. Got to go buy. <laughs> Pop it up. You the shit. You got to go buy the TV to get control. <laughs> to get brainwashed. And we're in control again. And I told y'all. Remember that control word. <laughs> man, these people. Done I told y'all. These folk done done a number on us. So we all think a record is so good or so hot. It just they're programming y'all. And you go to another state to hear it again. It's a program. It's programming. And think about this. Listen to the record that's so hot. And wonder why the prison system's pushing that record. Man, this is a it's an agenda. <laughs> How are you going to a record label? You got a, a motherfucker 75 years old that own the label telling you what's going on in your hood. Ain't never been there, don't know what's going on. But he is dictating what the world is going to hear when it comes to you. See, these people are gatekeepers. How you stop gatekeepers? Don't walk through the gate. Nope. You don't have to listen to no radio station, cut them off. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to go to these arenas. Mm-hmm. We could build out, we could get our own arenas. Football players, we don't have to go. Football players can get the gun and build their own league. That's sure why can. I love Dane Dash. I love Dane Dash because the, the man got the heart of a lion. Ain't gonna talk that shit. And he right. He right. Build your own league. Cause like he said, it ain't about the money. They're not going to vote him in on the board to own a damn football team. I'm going to tell y'all something, too. I had, a, Like I told y'all before, I had a conversation with somebody at, uh, at the store, and we were talking about some things. And, and this came up. We spoke about Jewish people and, and black folk, right? Black folks play the game of sports. Football, basketball, Tiger Woods, golf, all that shit. Baseball. Jewish people play the game of finance. Y'all hear this? Man, hear that shit, but... I, I, you know what? I'm about to get up from here and just start and start just moving because that hey, Jewish played a game of what finance? Jew, you will never seen you ain't never seen a damn Jewish basketball player, a Jewish football player. They been play the finance game. That's what they play. So the Jews, are, it, 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 hey man, y'all hit that shell button, man. We we tired of this, man. Hit that shell button. This man, this, this this is man. Come on, come on, man. Facts. So, but, I'm, but what I'm trying to explain to y'all is through through uh through the music business, they use the jits. So the Jewish own the music business. Jewish, yeah, you know. <laughs> not, not, y'all hear this? Even with like nah, it's crazy because Jimmy Iovine said that he asked his daughter. Jimmy Iovine is the guy that runs uh, Interscope. Right. He's Jewish. That's um on Dr. Dre right hand man and all that shit. He said he asked his daughter. About how do he, how do you like this? He played it, and it was Tupac, and she said she liked it, and he said based off that, that what made him sign Tupac. 
That's a slap in the face. But when you give a man that much control, that's what they do. You saw when, when Jimmy Iovine walked by, walked by the game. Now, I noticed I said Dr. Dre, that's his right-hand man. When, when 50 Cent got signed, the aftermath from the top of that shit was Jimmy Iovine, then 50 Cent. Let me say Jimmy Iovine, Dr. Dre, Eminem, then 50 Cent. 50 Cent signed game to G-Unit. Man, that man walked by the game like he ain't never knew who the fuck he was. Man, y'all, y'all, y'all don't really want to hit it, do y'all? Y'all, y'all wait, see it. And we get these people all the power they possess, but they manipulate us in the head. They tell us where this shoe, where that hat, where this. This is popular. They brainwashing you, bro, yeah, making you on. think that shit that's valuable is valuable when it's not. But yeah. when they control TV, radio. Um, news, news, news stands for North, East, South, North, East, West, South. That's what the news is for. That's what it stands for. Hey, y'all ain't really hearing this. You know what? We, you know what we gonna do? We gonna just shake him and wake him, man. Papa Duck, ready for this, man. I told y'all we ain't worried about nothing no more. It's just about right now. Let's build our community. Man. Hit that share button. If you don't hear you hit that share button, then come on now. And I, and all I'm saying is, dear man, to the youngsters, honestly. Let me get back over here. To the youngsters, man, you going to prison, man. If you out there doing your thing, homie, like Trick say, shit don't start till a nigga get killed. Shit don't start till a nigga get locked up. And what I'm telling you, bro, if you if your top five, y'all ain't y'all ain't flew and left the city, leave your lady home, and y'all just come and meet somewhere, and y'all sat down, chopped it up about what's gonna happen if this happened or if that happened, you gotta have rules. You gotta have a code. If you see that code come across your phone, I don't give a goddamn. If you at a funeral, you gotta move. You gotta move. You gotta move. That's loyalty. It's, come on, man. If you ain't got that established, bro, anything can come between y'all. Female, a nigga fat mouth and just talking shit, lying, get you in your feeling. Now you mad at your home, but you have no structure, homie. You going to prison, homie. I guarantee you. Oh, you fall. He might tell on you because he failed. You know what I mean? All that dumb, man. man. going to prison, man. This shit is shot up, man. This is a this shit was a setup from the get up. You're going to prison, homie. Now, we ain't telling y'all not to listen to rap music, no. We're not saying that at all. We're telling y'all to understand how to listen to it. A lot of y'all talking to you, like Papa just said, he said a few minutes ago, bro, that your rappers got more influences than the parents got. On the and, and it's true because the parents are sitting there. Listen to it in front of the kids, hide up all Don't going crazy and probably on TV. No. And then Don't when your that. kids do it, you want to beat your kids' neck off. Don't do that. No. That, Mom, what listen, Mom, Dad, you like that? That's one of my things when it comes to a stepdad. As a stepdad and as a stepmama and as a mama and as a real daddy. But I was speaking from a stepdad aspect. Don't walk around these children, special girls with your shirt off. No. With your pants hanging off your Come ass. On, man. Smoking in front of them. Cussing in front of no, and mainly don't be listening to no fucked up music. If you allow these things to happen in front of your child, and it's the man you love, like they say, if you want to know a person, look who they with. Say it again, bro. If you want to know who a person is, look who they with. Come on, man. That's just like saying, show me your friends, I can show you the type of person you with. We are reflections. You know what? This is probably the podcast, man. Y'all hear that shit, but this is, you know what? <laughs> That's all reflection. I don't know man. what to do now. Y- y- y'all know I. Well, I'm like, that's all the deal, man. Listen, man. I-, I tell y'all all the time, man. I done figured this shit out, like Neo. I done figured it out, bro. I understand psychology. I understand language. I understand so much stuff. So it's like when you around a bunch of people that ain't on that level you own, you you got to just you got to just respect them and keep it moving. That's all you could do, man. Cause these folk done done a number on us mentally. See, when you go to college and come home, what, what the, the people I study and up under, you, to them, use an educated fool. Oh, whoa. Them. Because on, whoa. One side of the, on one side of the fence, you educated within the matrix. But in reality, like the real spirituality, you ha- you don't know nothing. You get what I'm saying? But these people done brain fucked us, man. I'm telling you, they done done this. They done made us feel like, oh, we got this type of car, we this, or we... Here, we got this type of education. We that, we here, we that. Come on, bro. This, this shit gold chain, we did that. And a man can't tell you nothing. And I'm not saying like me, 
not being able to tell you something. When I say a man, I'm talking about the system, the, right. the code that you live by. As a family, you you supposed to have your own code. You shouldn't be right. born with your auntie. Come on, man, what we doing? You supposed to sit down. We supposed to eat together. We supposed to do everything together, build a building together. Every fucking thing as a family we supposed to do together. But these people done brain fucked us so bad, got us thinking like individualism. I told y'all about that. They don't want you to be collectivism. They want us to live individualism. Yes, because because you know why? You go to them. Facts. They want you to be by your damn self. Imagine if all of us came together. Because I'm going to tell y'all something. When you talk about these Jewish people, they all together. They not buying them from you, black man. No. They ain't even buying half shit from white people. And it's crazy about that, bro. You ain't never seen a Jewish person with a Gucci on. Hell Louis no. Vuitton, all the crazy stuff, Ferrari. You used to ride a radar car, so like that. <laughs> That's true, man. What, is, what she said, man, American blacks don't have community. Our culture is lost. Man, oh, that's so, that's so true. Oh. Oh. Damn, man, you really around the damn head, man. I tell people all the time, man, go look up the word neighborhood and compare it to the definition of community. Hell, you see commute. What When you commute, what the fuck you doing? You riding together. Yes. We commuting to work. That's why I say I understand language. I understand prefix and suffix. Just because you can pronounce a word on me, you know what it means. But I'm telling you, look at the word commute. That means we riding together. Community, right. we have the same, like we, we, we a community is a, a, a group of people that have the same, like beliefs in some in a state. We, we're doing the same thing together. We're on one accord. Right. That's what a commute is. Right. Now look at the word neighborhood. Let me put us in the neighborhood. Yep. Words. Come on, bro. This shit's simple. Once you break it, like Neo, when you break the matrix down, you see what? It, oh, man, man. I cut through life like butter, man. We cut through life like butter, man. You can't get me with it. I'm good. I don't care if you got the Yeezys on, baby. I'm going to respect you as a woman. Like my mama tell me, and I love that woman to do it. My mama say, I don't give a damn what a man got. He could be a baser, a drunk. He's a man. Respect him. And that's what I live by. Give a fuck how much money you got. Or you riding in a flashy car and all that, man. You a man to me, man. Don't let your ego get, you know. No, nah, you a man. You got a car. That don't do nothing True. to me. That don't True. make me like, no, man. You got a car. True. Anyway, man. We were going to take calls tonight, but... Um, we left the damn phone. <laughs> you know what I'm y'all saying? know a lot of things are my fault, but you know, I'm getting it right. You know, we enjoyed mm -hmm. y'all tonight. Y'all know how you, man. Every, every Wednesday, 8 p.m., Pop It Up Podcast, co-host Please Believe in Steve. Every Wednesday. If for now, on, man, y'all tell your family, tell a friend, go to work and be like, hey, 8 o'clock tonight, I got to get home tonight, Ooh, get my dinner ready. I do this podcast. Bye, PC. He said they don't take us serious because we don't have any economic power. That's why the police will continue to kill us. Bro, you is 1,000% right. Ooh. Hey, 1,000. Claude uh, Anderson talk about this a lot. As black folk, we do not have no financial stability or foundation. No. And therefore, they're going to always be like, we don't give a damn what you think. And I'm going to tell you why. I, I, I tell y'all this all the time. At the political table, you got Japanese. You got Japan or whatever, Chinese, you got the white folk, you got the Jews, you got all the people there, but blacks. Why? Yep. Because we spend our money with everybody at the table. Yep. That's basically what he's saying. We don't have no economic power. I told you, when you want to make a stance and change, hit them motherfucking pockets. It yep. ain't about the money at that, at that point, okay? They make no. the money. They make money. But what it is, is when you have the money, you have the power. Why? Because people are under the money spell. The money that you have can make people do things. What the fuck you think they do? <laughs> they use money. That's all they use. That's all they use. They so use. When, you, when you as a group of people, blacks, y'all got power. Why? Because y'all spending money with each other. Y'all done wise enough. Man, when, you, when yeah. they see a post on social media, I'm going to tell you how the algorithm works. When, you, when, they put a, when somebody put a post up, like, I don't like buying for black people because black people this that. Don't you know they push that shit more? It be booming out all over the place. Like, whoa, like what? I'm talking about the actual social media site itself pushes yes. those agendas out there. Yes. Keywords. 
I don't like to spend money with black folk. Black folk don't like to do good. Bit when they see that, they promote that shit. Yep. So what I'm trying to explain to y'all is this: we at war for our minds. And if you listen to what I tell you, I'm just one voice. Steve, just one voice. That's you it. just one voice. All these one voices are going up against ESPN, CNN, all the news channel stations, radio. all the motherfucking radio stations, TV, all the actors, football player back. Dog, they have so much firepower to convince people. Bro, this is the type of war we up against. This is the type of war we're up against. So the next time you come out to my mouth, man and say, I ain't spending from black folk, bro. I know us as black folk. We gotta do better, man. So this yes. is this is the I'm telling black folks this, man. If you got a business, do better, man. Do better, man. Do better. And if you want and if you support, we need all the support we can get, bro. Yes. But I'm telling you, man, as, as ain't none of us asked to be here on earth. <laughs> a lot yeah. of times I be like, what the fuck we here for? I know it ain't the way no goddamn Jordans. I know it ain't the ride around because you know, bro, I want a car that we can't afford, but but we're looking good for a couple of weeks. Come on, man. You know what I'm saying? No, come on, bro. For that. It's a way bigger agenda, man. Yes. And I'm telling y'all, man, the people that's in, in charge right now, man. If I told y'all, and really like you say, bro, every week you say this is interesting time to be living. If you, yeah, if you're eight, 35 and older right now, yeah, if you're 30, if you 35, 30 and older, it's an yeah. interesting time, time to be living. Because you saw where this shit was and now where it's at. Where now. It's at. Like, you know what a VCR is. Yeah. Stick a VCR in front of the EJ, they going to look at that bit like it's a spaceship. Yeah. It's just, we saw the transformation to yes. where they had the Jetsons already telling us it's going to be, you know, phones with pictures in our face, FaceTime. All this shit was just massaging these ideas in our heads, yes. man. Fuck these people, man. I just, I'm tired. Of, I know I'm doing a lot of cussing. A lot of y'all be wanting me to talk about it. Man, I get in my feeling about this, man, because I, I just feel like, how can, how can a, how can a group of people do this to people? Right. Like innocent people, bro. Right. Innocent people. How? It's crazy, bro. It's crazy, bro. And I just feel for the children's children's yes. children, bro. Who's growing up in like in, in, in this area right now. Yeah. So but you know, we're gonna take us, it's gonna take us to just wake up, we can wake up and hit that share That's button. True. That's true, right? Look what you said. They want us at our lower self so we can stay prisoners in our own mind. You know what? You can't free a slave unless they know they're in bondage. Come on. If a person can't realize consciously in the circumference of their consciousness, if they cannot realize that they are in bondage, you cannot free them. That's just what it is. You got people running around there, bitch, don't think that they are slaves. And that's black people, white people, Chinese. You got a lot of different people really don't think they slaves. America is a corporation, a company like Burger King, McDonald's. Go see, look it up. See, a lot of them argue you down about that right now. Oh, no, no, no. Go look it up. Yeah. United States of America is a corporation that needs a president, vice president. See, that's the bullshit. <laughs> president, by, like any company. President, yeah. vice president, secretary. Yep. Bro, they ran the numb on us, man. That's why I talk about a lot of this stuff because I want you to go look it up, Mr. Straw Man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Maritime law. You know what I'm saying? Like, these things will blow your mind. Right. Child support. We just did a skit right. about child support. We hey, when well, y'all see that, though, y'all get y'all y'all, 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 popcorn, y'all laugh with it, because, hey, I'm telling y'all, a lot of humor to it, but a lot of real stuff to it, honest stuff to it, so. Yeah, so all the skits we do, it be funny, but it's yes. had, it has a message to it. Yes. Um, We got one about women being abused. Yes. Um, Shot shot to uh, Java. You know what I'm saying? From Santa from Florida, man. He been, you know, holding it down with us. Yeah, man, 100, um, man. We, we did one about the guy going to cheat on his wife. Yes. We got that's one out right now on YouTube right now. Yeah, that's out right now. So. <laughs> Go look it up. And yeah, I'm the one with the chicken. I, we get all the inbox by that chicken, man. That's yeah. me. <laughs> and yeah, I'm going to keep saying, where that chicken at? <laughs> so yeah. we just having fun, yeah. man. We definitely, um like I said, we've been on this bitch over an hour. Yeah. Getting it in. Y'all yeah. already know what time it is, man. And y'all go follow me, man. Please believe it's Steve on Instagram, man. <laughs> yeah, y'all, y'all ain't been following me lately, man. You know, y'all started. Y'all, come on now. Y'all gotta come on get with it. Cause hey, I'm gonna have that chicken ready. I come to your yeah, city. I'm a yeah. whoever frying chicken in the city, man. Let me know. I'm gonna pull up on you. 
Definitely, man. And like I say, man, um, you know, we gotta give a shout out to our sponsors, man. Sponsors, um, uh, one eight hundred, one eight hundred, bad pain. You know what I'm saying? If you're in an accident, anybody you know in an accident, man, hit it, hit it up. One eight hundred bad pain. Like I said, we don't got quite a few people right, and like I said, they'll they'll teach you how that all goes, man. So, you know, don't um don't get in no accident, man, and not know what's going on. These people will teach, will basically teach you how this go and will help you get what it is you need to get because those be lifelong injuries, man. Right. One eight hundred bad pain, man. Y'all screenshot it. If you was just in an accident, man, I don't give a damn, fender bender, whatever. Hit the number up and let's get you right. Also, man, uh, real credit deal. Real credit yeah, deal. Number on the bottom of the hill screen side. This we done helped a lot of families, man. That's the best thing. Families that's moving from different states, trying to get apartments. Some need transportation, uh, roof over their head. People that got existing businesses, we help them with their credit so they can extend their business. We gave people um, business ideas. I have a whole circle of people that can do damn near anything you need done. You just got to tap in, you know what I'm saying? Tap in, get your credit right, help you, um, you know, find assets, man. It, it's it's simple, man. It's very, 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 very simple, man. Don't be a slave to the, the corporations for 40 years and working for a boss you'll never meet, you know, helping them build a dream. Nah, man, you got a family of your own. And like I say, man, this going to cut all the chit chat, you know what I'm saying? Three things we're going to do. All these things y'all see me pushing, I believe in it because, like I say, it's genuine, it's organic. But this is the three things I tell people. Either we all going to get together and buy it. We all going to get together and take it like they did. Right. They took every fucking thing they got. Everything. Everything. They took it from the Indians. So all the you go outside, walk on, the, on soil, you're walking on blood. So we're going to either get together and buy it, get together and take it, or just talk shit. That's it. Because I don't, like I said, I don't figured it out. We could talk shit all we want to, man. These folks still doing what they doing. They organize. We not. Exactly. So either we're going to get together, take it, get together. Buy, you know what? It's not about who in control. It's all about who, who we all together in control. Forget oh, they who together. started it. Yeah. Who, forget that. We're going to do it together. Because they, 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 because listen, <laughs> those people are together. We not. Yeah. Yeah. Forget it took this person to get it started. Yeah. We all come together. It don't matter for who got it started. Let's do it yeah. together. They together. We not. That's yeah. what you got to realize. So, again, man, we appreciate y'all. We, we, we love y'all. Like, we love y'all. Yeah. Let, look at it now. They've been programming for years. You're right. Food is poison, water is bad, global agenda, voting, etc. Never did a damn thing for so called <laughs> black, but brainwashed. Damn, I like that. <laughs> Damn. Hey, I don't know if it, hey. She hit it on the head. <laughs> she hit it on the head. Y'all don't man. know what it, it, it did. Damn. Ooh. She hit it on the head with that. Ooh. God damn. Ooh. Ooh, that's real though. Hey. That sums it up. <laughs> so what I want y'all to understand is before I leave, I want y'all to understand this. Everything you see on TV is somewhat of a brainwashing of um perception. The perception yes. they give us. Um, being in an interrogation room, being interrogated, you only know about that because you saw it on TV. 90% of people never been interrogated. Yes. And for those who have been, that's what they, you know. So what I'm telling you is the things that you know and, how, and the things you know of comes from television. Yes. So the way you see black women acting, not all black women act like that. No. The way you see certain groups of people act, all this is no. predictive programming. Look the word predictive programming up and you're going to understand so i don't want you to get an understanding of stuff so you can stand over it you don't want to understand right. you want to overstand yes okay so with that being said this is the power dog podcast wrapping it up wrapping it up definitely man <laughs> wrapping it up Fifth episode. you know what you know wrapping it up yeah, man, wrapping it up <laughs> but again man i love y'all yeah man you know what i'm saying yeah propaganda is real perception you have to understand perception we seeing the world through somebody else's ideologies right the way they perceive the world that's what we see now man create your own world 
get your family start with your family man y'all start eating at the same time you don't want one up here no start molding your family man start doing that man that's what we got to start doing damn what they say we need to do man we at this point let's start it today moving forward moving forward <laughs> like you say it's been all love with y'all tonight you know every time y'all see us is what it is denise white we love you for that you know what i'm saying hey oh one more thing one more thing uh quite a few people hitting us up if you want to promote on our facebook youtube, YouTube and instagram. instagram go to papa duck promo at gmail.com we promote books we promote different projects we got to approve it though but different projects different businesses uh all this different thing yes. you get what i'm saying so go to papa duck promo at gmail.com anybody you might know you know, like I said, we'll get it up. And it's going to happen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you feel me? If we do. Hey. And y'all go check out that um, Wake Up about shooting video today. I'm telling y'all, that's that's, that's, that's deep, called... deep, 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 deep. And y'all go Wake follow up. me. I'm going to say this one more time, slowly. Go follow me on Instagram. Please believe it's Steve. <laughs> and guess what? I'm going to have y'all rolling with that chicken. <laughs> y'all know. But um, we got skits coming out. Uh, very soon um we got um new videos coming dropping yeah. um having fun with it yes photo shoots yeah we got that kind of content you know what i'm saying like i say man i love what we're doing yeah we we, we, ch we changing people's perspective uh respectfully and like i say man we may not always agree but just know man your big bro on your side i love you yeah <laughs> i love you that's all that is, man. So, hey, you other bro. Yeah. <laughs> you know how they go. So y'all know it's all love, though. We love you. And we about to tap out. So, man, like I say, man, y'all stay blessed, man. And like I say, um, oh, man, we got a nice contribution. Oh. Oh, damn. Uh, your advertisement and message works. Oh, thank you so much. I think I know who this is. If this is who this is, thank you so much. She said your advertisement and message works. I tell y'all, we help um, different businesses. Um, we help different businesses, man, with the platforms. And like I say, man, um, that's what's up, man. We definitely appreciate that contribution. Thank you so much for that. Yes, we thank you so much for that. Thank you so much. But like I say, man, we definitely gonna get it in, man. Um, and again, man, I damn I don't want to get off of it, but I know, you know. But thank you for that contribution, man. Love you for that. Thank you so nah, much. bro. This is gonna <laughs> follow you when you bring. Uh, oh, you nah, y'all, y'all thought, y'all thought, y'all thought of that, but now, right? I understand. I understand. I understand. I won't forget it. I promise y'all. You know, I be late. Don't leave the phone. Man, they owe me, bro. Damn, <laughs> man. I want to take the call tonight, but like I say, man, each and every Wednesday we here. Appreciate y'all yeah. again, man. You know what? Next week, next week, what we're gonna do? We're gonna do more phone calls to make up for this week. Yeah, we're uh, that's, my, that's my apology. You yeah. feel me? And we love y'all. Next Wednesday, eight o'clock. Pop it up podcast. Pop it up. Please believe it, Steve. And yeah, yeah. we're wrapping it up. Share, share, share. <laughs> Thanks for listening to the Papa Duck Podcast. Yeah. And we are out. Y'all stay blessed. And like I say, in order for you to be found, you must, must first be lost. Be lost. <laughs> Come out, man.